What's up, YouTube? Uh, this is Jason. I just got done driving. We did. We drove up to Baton Rouge, which was only like a couple of hours, hour and a half from New Orleans. And then um, we uh, played a gig at a killer little room called uh, Henry Turner Jr.'s Listening Room. And... Uh, where is the camera? Is it there? Am I looking right at you now? I don't know. Look, guys. If I look tired, it's because I am. And then we finished the gig in Baton Rouge, and we drove all the way to Houston. And now I'm in the parking lot of Houston, of the club. We're sleeping, like, up there somewhere. And uh, I'm actually in H Humble, Texas. And tomorrow I'm technically in Houston. Humble is like a suburb of... Uh, of uh, Houston. So anyway, uh, look, I uh, as tired as I am, it's like, uh, I don't know, 7 in the morning, 6 in the morning or something like this. Still hadn't been to bed yet. I can't really go to bed until I feel good about Free Fridays. And that means that I am here for you guys no matter what. What I say? I said no matter what. That means Free Fridays happen no matter what. No matter what means, after I've been driving six, seven hours a day, unloading vehicles, taking care of boys, getting people paid, setting up gear, tearing down gear, driving through crazy traffic, eating terrible food that I'm in the van with the harmonicas here for Free Friday, as promised, every Friday. As you'll notice, the video is not edited, but I am here. All right, and that's what matters. So, uh, well, good morning, Free Fridays. And uh, yeah, somebody told me, you know, Jay, you're not looking into the camera the right way or whatever. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I am sorry. But that's the price you pay for uh, free harmonica lessons. Which one should we do today? Should we do C, A, B, G? Where should we do? Let's do the G. They asked for the G. I heard you. I heard you when I when we said G. So I heard you say G. All right. So look, I got an idea. So you know how I told you guys about the three draw, the exercises on the three draw? Well, I want to talk to you about it today in terms of the slow blues, okay? So if you play three draw on the one chord, on the first chord, you're going to get a very nice kind of melancholy note. And then if you bend three draw on the four chord, you're going to get a very bluesy sound there, especially if you do it on the four chord. So this would be a time for some of you guys that have been learned that have already learned how to bend and might be bending three draw all the time. <laughs> Oh, don't tell me the harp's clock. <laughs> By the way, if a harp is clogged, one of the ways you can unclog it, besides cleaning it, <laughs> is to bend it and do little flutter things with the bend, like... <laughs> So anyway, a lot of you guys who have learned how to bend might be bending three like all the time because you dig that darker sound that you work so hard to get. I don't blame you, right? But I'm telling you, there's a lot of value to not bending it, especially on the one chord. A major third, which is that three draw natural on the one, on the first chord, you know, the first four bars of a blues. And then, you know, later on, you know, um, bars um, seven and eight. And then, of course, 11 and 12, right? Those are all, you know, in this case, it would be a, a D chord or a D7. So when you bend it on the three, on um, when you bend the three on the four chord, you're getting a flatted seven of four. You don't have to know what that means. All you have to know is it sounds good, and I'm about to demonstrate it. And then on the five chord, which is bar nine, right? You'll hear it. You can either bend three down all the way, or well, not all the way, uh, a whole step. There's natural. There's a half. 
there's your whole step. So you can either bend it down there or you could play the root of five, which would be four draw. She's still sticking a little bit. Or you could even play four blow, especially since we're not going to be using that note, the root of four on four. We're going to save it where it appears as a flat seven of five. That's a fancy way of saying that it works, okay? So now I'm just going to take a couple of notes and put them in front of this three draw business. So we're going to do one draw, two blow, two draw, then I'm going to play three draw. Then on the four chord, I'm going to, you know what, I'll do a quick four here and I'll change it on the four. We'll go back to the one for two more bars and then we'll go formally to the four. So really, we only have this note, one draw, this note, two blow, this note, two draw, and then like B.B. King. Set bend on four. Back to three. Double bend. Half step. Natural three. on there. Ah. All I'm really thinking about is hitting Just the three at the right time. Four blow. Three. Now one and bend. Bend on three. That's that seven on the end of one. Back to the three bend. Back to the natural. Let's go to four draw. Back to the bend three. 
natural three. <laughs> little turn around. One more time. Man, don't tell me seven stuck too. Just the three. Just the bend. Feel that? Two draw bend. <laughs> now three bend. to natural. Double. I can't believe the harp is sticking. Now, oh, come on, Jovi. No. See, there it is. I just had to bend the heck out of it. So now all you overblowers, you can do the same technique up top. So instead of three draw, you use three draw natural. I mean seven draw. When it's not sticking. And then the overblow. Oops. Well, I'm tired. All right, y'all. Good night. I'm going to bed and I'm going to sleep until 6 p.m. Get up and play another gig. Free Fridays. You know what? Today is a great day. It's a great day. I am tired and it's going to be a great day to sleep. But today you're awake and I hope you had some fun with this lesson. Sorry, it's a little scattered. 
All right, but that's the best I can do, and I think it was a valuable lesson, right? You might have learned about this three draw thing, but not thought about it really on a slow blues. And the best way to put it into execution on a slow blues, right, or the reason to know this is because you can now improvise. And as you can hear, you can improvise with some emotion. These are beautiful notes. This three draw major third, three half step bend. That's the seven of four, three double bend. That's the five of five. That's three different harmonies. So instead of playing the root of one, the root of four, the root of five, my good buddy Chris McCulloch used to say, root notes are for bass players. <laughs> so if root notes are for bass players, well, that means that if you got a bass player, even if you don't, I wasn't playing with a bass, you can do other stuff besides root notes. Of course, you got to know where your root note is to know where the notes are that relate to it. In the end, whatever you're doing right now is okay. Don't feel bad that you're not playing as good as me. If you're playing better than me, well then, God bless you, and that's amazing. And uh, it's amazing that I'm still doing it and kicking and giving you guys free Fridays. Remember, I'm on Patreon, and the Patreon people are keeping me alive. If it wasn't for Patreon, I'll be honest, I would say, hey guys, sorry, I couldn't do a free Friday this week. There was too much stress from the aliens, right? But that's not the case. Patreon is supporting me, so I make sure I give back. And that means giving back to you too, Patreon supporters. You guys are doing it for all you guys out there that are not subscribed. Click the subscribe button. It's Patreon that's bringing you this video today. Not to mention the Lone Wolf Blues Company, Blues Blue Moon Harmonicas, Honer Harmonicas, and also Harp Gear Amplifiers. I'm on the road with Jason Ritchie and the Bad Kind. If you happen to be in Houston today or tomorrow, I'm here tonight at the Green Oaks Tavern in Humble, Te Humble Texas. Tomorrow, I will be at the Big Easy. All right, I am tired. I need some sleep. I've been staring at the road the whole time. You guys are amazing. I really do appreciate you. Leave some comments below. Hopefully the audio is, you know, doable, man. It sounded loud in here, like too loud. Anyway, look, love you all. Talk to you soon. Take care.